everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play Walking Dead series with episode 4. Last time we left off, things were a little bit messy. I was definitely disheveled mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all of the OEs you could possibly imagine. That was me. It was rough, to say the least. But we're going to continue. We're in a new place. Surely there is no danger here. We're safe. Clementine has this radio that we're just not going to talk about. Everything's going to be fine. Let's let's continue. Around every corner. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be good. Around every corner. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. We're just going straight now, into it. What the fuck's the problem? <sighs> You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Neither am I. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. This kid. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Oh, you yeah. son of a- ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Oh my gosh. What I need. Who the fuck? I know it's just I a recap, know. but my heart. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about this, guys. <laughs> Here we go again. Is it the backyardigans that said into the thick of it? Oh. <laughs> See, it's fine. Everything is fine. There's no one there. It's peaceful. There's not even zombies. We found... Honestly, it's a suburban oasis. Cap. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. I don't want to hear a peep out of you, Ben. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Right. <laughs> Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. And I swear to God. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. 
I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? It's choices that? like that that wake me out. To fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Walkers? Ask not for whom the bell tolls. Oh. What are you yammering <laughs> all about? Yeah, is there like a swarm it of them? Tolls for thee. Oh no. It's quite. It's like options like that where there's actually no consequence in what you choose, but they make you think there is. So you never know. You just assume everything is gonna impact. Everybody, run! <laughs> run. Look at that shovel, boy. Come on, Clem. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, Kenny. No, 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 no. Was that a bite? Was that a bite? Please don't be a bite. Don't you think? No, Ben, help her! God damn it! Did you just run away? No! Dude. I'm done with Ben. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Absolutely done with him. He's the one that was stealing the supplies. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, oh, you know, he's just a kid. He Move your asses! It. River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Sure, some folks got killed, whatever. I'll give me a fucking break! Everyone makes mistakes, Wait, but... where the hell's Chuck? Aww. Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Aw, Chuck. I liked him. He was a realist, you know? I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Why am I always playing mediator? Oh yeah, Ben, I want a word with you. Piece of shit. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I panicked. I don't know what happened. I don't know I what happened. Froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers. I mean, it's true. About. It's true. When you're faced with a situation you. that, like, you don't know. When it's a life-threatening situation, a lot of people will react in ways that they didn't know they would react. Some people freeze up. Some people rise to the occasion. It's very randomized. But this fucking kid. This kid. I swear to God. Think we can get in through one They're of these They're kind of boarded up. Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. I mean, he did just suffer a lot of loss. I would expect him to want to revert to some sort of escapism. Getting on a boat, escaping all his problems. I mean, makes sense. Makes sense. In case you guys didn't know, I love Taco Bell, and I just had some before recording this episode. So I am like happy tummy right now. I am. I had a downer and then now I have an upper because I have a coffee. <laughs> Fun fact, completely random, <laughs> not at all related. Sauce come back here. 
Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? Right, that's what I was about to say. Than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. I used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Oh, just no. Just stay away from the cage. Clem. We'll getting us inside the house. I had hamsters growing up. They were so cute. Not zombie hamsters, just normal ones. Hey, gang, how you guys doing? How's Sorry I broke your leg. I'm alright. You're not alright. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside. <sighs> yeah, she's kind of a stress ball. Uh, we'll take care she's of it. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Yet. Uh, there are a lot of headstrong women characters in this game. Like, all of the women we've encountered so far are so I'm independent type. Like, we had Katya, even though she was subdued and kind of nurse-like. I would use the word... I don't know why the word domestic comes to life, because, like, she was very housekeepy, like, take care of the kids, take care of the family, like, a good wife, good mother. But with that, she still had her sense of, like, I am a strong woman. She didn't lose that. And then with the other three now, it's very obvious that they're overtly, they were, rip in peace, Carly. Yeah, they were overtly, like, I'm in charge. What's this? What's that? What? Very... Type A. Oh. This is interesting. Looks like something was buried here. Zombie dog? Just a dog house. Can we keep it? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Mm. The shovel is never not useful. Can I use it to dig up the mound? Or is that kind of disrespectful? Don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find our way into that house first. Oh, fair. our way into this little shack. The shack, baby, please. No. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Hmm. How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Alright. That's fair. I deserve that. Okay. Uh, fountain, no. All of this is a no. Maybe there's a way around the house that I'm not seeing. Oh! Bash the pet door. I won't be able to bust through that. <laughs> What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. Clementine? I tried it already. That's locked too. Oh. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. 
My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. When was this game made oh, again? Shit. Every day's a school day. <sighs> that existed back All then? All right, so where's the dog? Oh, no. Oh, no. We have to dig up the doggy door. Oh, no. Well. Rib in peace, doggo. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Huh. Yeah, I hear you. What are you doing? What's buried down there? Scrappy. Uh... Don't know yet. Clementine, honey. Come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. I love her text color. I'm biased, obviously a little bit of a purple fan. Oh god, the smell. Oof. Pick up the carcass. Can I just undo the Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? My god, that's disgusting. The head, the way it just slithered off. Ah. Oh. We can still keep that shovel. It doesn't have to stay in the ground, you know. But okay. Oh, let's just... Ooh, that Taco Bell doesn't feel so good now. Huh. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, what do you see in there? I have to be able to trust her. We're a team. I know she's a kid, but like she's been through so much already. I can't just boss her around all the time. She has to learn to fend for herself, too. She should have at least asked good me work, first. Clem, but don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Yeah. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? <sighs> My leg's starting to hurt like hell. That's what I meant. Like, she did good, but I don't want to slap her on the wrist so hard she never wants to do anything Looks again. Okay she gets herself here. killed. Everybody in. Well, this is nice and not at all morbid looking. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. My cat's eating Feel plastic behind already me. Just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Just call her babe. I kind of was under the impression they were together, but they also didn't act like it. They acted like friends. So, so. what were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Bro. I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. It has been like Great. an eight-hour period. Who gives time a shit period. about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the Sorry, street. my cat's and still we didn't eating see plastic. Else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Lick Why would they bring sense. out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? 
In case you haven't I'm pretty noticed, sure they're just stalking us. I don't know if they're really helping or things. trying to hurt us. The they're just kind of watch us. Seems like they're following oh, us. Oh, that was a cute dog behind. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a Rip damn dog. boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and old meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. <laughs> Ain't gonna wait around here too long. I do want to find Chuck. I liked that option, but I didn't pick it because I think everyone needs some some rest. They seem secure uh, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. Aww. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Mm. Just when I think this game can't get any worse or throw anything else at me, the dog. I'm still thinking about that dog scene, guys. Like, just when I think that they can't add any other curveballs or make anything even more gross, they add a dead dog whose neck slides down from its spine. Like, that's kind of that's kind of nasty. All empty. Can't imagine where else they go with this. Oh, uh, dog food. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Huh? Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. What if we need a... Lure a dog? Nothing. Water's off. Mm hmm Power. No power. I mean, it's not like they've exactly been paying electricity bills. Walter. It's such a human name. What do you guys think about pets with human names? This is my dog, Christopher. This is my cat. Oh, cleaned out. This is my cat, Bethany. Walter the Pooch. <laughs> this architecture uh, is very old. Like the arches and the different contrasting designs. Like you've got paneling. Like wallpaper paneling mixed with tile and then wood on... Is this brick or what? I can't tell. I think it's two different types of wood. It's just very old. Must have stopped working a while ago. Oh, for Would Chuck. Cleared this place out. Left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. My man, how's it coming? You right. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that still said that. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. I thought about taking the bottle to bring to to someone in pain, maybe. Hey guys, how's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet. But so far, so good. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, yep. but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Yep. Kinney's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sake. Just because you're solid doesn't mean you can't be on the edge. Especially when you take that much loss, you don't know what people are going to do. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. 
I feel you. All this man ever says is I'm fine. That face did not look fine. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. Okay. I'll make sure. Got the hint. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Our luck is starting to turn Sit around. Tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Chuck Thanks, is Lynn. gone. We've got a creepy stalker on the radio and someone at the bell tower. Probably the same person. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Not exactly my style. Nothing hiding in here. Another one. All clear in here. Just one more to check. I hate all these creaking noises. They're freaking me out. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. <laughs> well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, no, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? We want an answer, Clementine. Here, Clem. What okay. monster would pick You're that? Not in any trouble. Tell us who like abuse it's like bullies her. I don't think he wants to hurt <sighs> us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Yeah, as I was gonna say, is it Kenny doing something? Oh no. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Oh, is there like a baby crib or something Stay that he's here. looking at? I feel like that's something related to... Kenny? Is it a zombie baby? Kenny, you okay, man? Dude, what did I just say about this game not getting any worse? What oh, did I Jesus? What, the what did I just that... say? Oh my god. Looks like duck, don't he? A little bit, yeah. It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. 
I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? Man. I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. Who would make I'll Kenny do it? God, I can't wait to see the results at the end of the episode. I love seeing those stats now. It really makes you think why people make the choices they do. Oh, this game is so fucked up. Ugh. You can be buried with his puppy, Walter. game the little boy is with his dog. That just scared the absolute piss out of me. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Oh my god, Wait, I was. What's going on? my coffee. Huh. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? We have... Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. We have a fan. Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. 
Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. Here we go. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. We literally well, you just get got ready here like 30 minutes ago. I'm going down ago. to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. That's what you Maybe came here for. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place I more. said I'm done with this house! Yeah... Don't look at me. We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know. Also, okay? someone needs to watch okay. Ben. Daylight's burning. Bitch. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. He needs some supervision, because I am at my wit's end so with this kid. So you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah, dude. You think you'd be fucking trusted? So, dude. No, no offense, offense ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Yeah. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You yep. feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Ben makes me mad. Ben boils my blood. I wonder who these stalkers are. Why would I shoot them? Why would that be a good idea? Oh, more markings, like the ones we just saw. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Hmm. One, four, zero. That one was like one, two, one or something. Hmm. Friendly banner. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Bash it. <laughs> Damn. Built solid. <laughs> I just wanted to see if he would actually do it, and he did. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Hmm. Yeah, 
gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Dang, they really scrubbed Looks that. Like this thing has been stripped clean. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to keep walking this way? I guess so. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's oh. too dangerous <laughs> out here. Scratch that. Any quarters? Locked. God damn it, how hard is it for a girl to get a quarter around these parts? Must have been a hell of a wreck. Is there gonna be a court one in like one of the walkers' pockets? Why is this am I am I overthinking this? Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Spare me a quarter. Spare change. Oh, and he's changing this alley? <gasps> alley change? Nothing, it's just a random alley. Really? They added a random alley? For no reason? I can just go back here? Bruh. Can I just tell Kenny that there's nothing? Sorry, Kenny. Better just let him do his thing. Okay. <sighs> Uh All right, what did I what did I miss? Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. My camera froze. Boom. Mm, okay. Boards, no go. Cash register, no go. Newspaper machine, no go. All of this. Oh, wait. Can I bash it? Oh! <gasps> Yay! Loisimos, we did it. Oh boy, this is going to be a nice and Fuck. beautiful picture. What's up with the boat? It ain't going to work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? <laughs> I sound like such an asshole. What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Yeah... Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No sign of any boots down there. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Is there gonna be someone creepy watching me or something? Please no. The hell? What is that? What? Get down. 
Get down! It was like Spider-Man climbing up the walls. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Yeah, but it could okay. also not be. You head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. No. We just want to talk to this guy. I don't but even want to talk to him. I see no point. I mean, sure, we could learn some things, but I don't want to do this. He's gonna sneak up. He knows I'm here. There's no way. What the? Yep. Uh. Ow. I suck. from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, you were great help. Kenny, don't! He is unhinged, bro. No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. Aw, Clem. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What is Crawford? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. Yeah. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Ah. Huh. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I get it straight <laughs> up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. She's been ringing them for Calm herself. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, <laughs> ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around. She didn't know that. Kenny's That's a freak. The idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> you just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? 
Why not? I'm too curious. No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Yeah. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. I mean, isn't Jesus that gonna fl Christ. like fall back on them? Well, just the opposite when you think Aging about population, it. no youth. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? This is them. Well, you met some of them already. Yep, this big old pile. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. Some are more equal than others. George Orwell, Animal Farm. This? She used to be there, probably. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Maybe she was there and she escaped somehow. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Hey, moron. Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Oh no. Great. Just great. Zombie grandmas. The only thing worse than normal grandmas. Isn't that the- The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a- Haha. Uh -huh. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer Figure you to it my out. previous answer. <laughs> but you have to help us, please. I hope Molly doesn't Come die. Come on, make it fast. Please don't die for our sake, just because we endangered you. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Go, 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 jump over the freaking garbage can. Can't they just go? Come on! Come on, man. One good jump. Come on. Jump over the freaking dumpster. Push it. Why can't you just freaking jump over it? Oh, push it to climb up. Oh, no. Oh my god. Get up, 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 get up. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! No way. Uh, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Why would I go in the sewer? That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You can't just jump on the dumpster and climb up. Lee! They're zombies. They would totally just fall in there. Oh. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Do I still have the crowbar thing? I still don't understand why I couldn't just jump on the dumpster and climb up. Completely confused. Built solid. No way I can pry that open. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, we still have a little pickaxe thing. Those little rats on the floor? Oh no. Pick up. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Ooh. I ain't touching that. <laughs> the last thing I need is some god awful disease. Aww. It's a drainage pipe. Okay. Locked. I was thinking maybe I could like turn the pipe. Could be the way out. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Left or right? Locked. Just to have another way out. Just in case. Some kind of drainage pipe. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Like, if I had a wheel... Please don't kill me out here. Okay. Another water source. Maybe they'll come over here to me and then I can sneak back through the passageway. Or something. Auto save. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Here they come. Run, 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 run. This is fine. Why is everything red? Okay, just because they were passing. Whew. Wasn't there one more lovely lady? There she is. <gasps> oh my god. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No! No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Damn. You're such a nice guy. Damn it, chat. Oh, shut the hell up. Go, oh, god damn it!
No way I could pick that up on my own. Those bars are way too solid. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Oh no, is this going to be way into that Crawford place? Crayford, Croff. Oh no. Is this a secret passage into the... Oh no, maybe this is how they get around the town. Or like the stalker? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Why would there be a hole here? How magical. Oh no. What the hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Okay, with supplies and stuff. Okay. Wonder if someone's living down here. Okay. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Okay. No red flags yet. Bright, we're fine. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. <sighs> well, uh, my heart. We are. I've been like pinching my face the whole time. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old. So, you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. That's terrible. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up Jesus. and hide from them down here. What is wrong this with the Crawford people? Abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? You have to stay in a morgue. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Mm. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look. I'd like to help. Yeah, I don't want to get him killed. We've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. Yeah. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? She's so angry. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yeah. Yep. 
She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Oh, what no. the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. Oh, no. If he dies because I lied. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. Oh, no. What if the group tells him that she's not my daughter and I just lied to this old man? Oh, no. Oh, no. Chad, I always make the worst choices. Oh, no. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, no. This is going to bite me back in the ass. I can feel it. Mark my words. Clementine? Clem? Where's Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Damn, rude. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Pickaxe. Where's Clem? Taking a little nap? Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a doctor here now. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I don't want to use you the man. You have to help us. Please. Oh. See, I already did a lot by taking me here, but... I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Aw, Vernon. What a nice lad. Oh. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? I mean, we don't have any medication. We don't Clementine. have any tourniquets. Clementine! We don't have anything. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Use sofa. I'll have time to rest. Yeah, more. I was gonna say for what a nap. Clem, you in here? Clem's drawings, but where is she? Oh, I was me burying the boy and the dog. That's depresso espresso. Bathroom. Bedroom. Clementine, you here? Clem? Ain't got time for that. house is creepy hello if we weren't in a zombie apocalypse i'd be worried about ghosts what are you doing oh uh, you know just poking around you won't find anything we already searched the place you'd be surprised what people miss trust me i've been doing this for a while where's clementine don't ask me i'm not her keeper hey do i look like i'm in the mood to be jerked around where did she go Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Why is the music so intense? Don't 
don't see her out there. Please don't be in the attic. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Why is the music so Clementine? freaky? Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Clementine! Come out! Please! Oh, he's Kenny? drinking. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? The table. Found it. <laughs> First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried. but He gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. No we way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Smart kid. I was about to beat his butt. Doesn't look like she's in here. Mm. Doesn't look like she's in here. So we've got the dining room, the kitchen, and that closet in the main Clementine, hall. Clementine, where are you? She's not in the refrigerator. Could she be in this closet right here? Doesn't look like she's in here. What the heck? Backyard? I looked outside. Maybe she's hiding in the backyard Clementine! in the shed. Because there was that big ass shed. Clementine? Clementine! She's gotta be, because I didn't see her through the window, so she has to be in here. Door's covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Is there a way she could have gotten in? What the hell happened back here? Mm-hmm. Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Open it, open it, open it. Oh no, oh no. I freaked out, y'all. in there exploring and look look what i found a station for our stalkers to talk to us have they been in our backyard the whole time no freaking way dude no way there's a boat this was here the whole time i know right I still don't know if getting on a boat is a great idea, to be fair. What are you going to do on a boat? Not be on the land, I guess. That's a start.
Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, <laughs> if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? And we can use her. She's pretty resourceful. She's no well, Ben. No offense, Ben. You want the good news or the bad news? Do I have to choose? I, of course I have to choose. Let's start with bad Let's news. Get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Um. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. <laughs> Maybe we should try there. I don't know how good of an idea that is. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Oh, not ask. Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. Can you just rob them? You don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about Oh yeah, here? she wasn't there, the I forgot. Worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. Can we just steal? And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Just take the battery and put it under your shirt? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my That's hand. That's what I said earlier. You guys wouldn't remember. wouldn't have a map by any chance. She might. Yeah, actually. Oh, we do. I was going to say Molly might. I well, remember I said that the tunnels could lead to Crawford. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's awful That's convenient. actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. How I've do we know if there's like before, just never had the people security. to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could. Pull There's got to be people watching their stuff. What do you stash? want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're medical also supplies? well stocked with medical supplies. I'm a genius. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then. We're going to Crawford. I was gonna say everyone okay with this. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Come on, cheese stick. We should stick. go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Mm. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? This is gonna be sneaky. Is it going to be dangerous? It's nah. It's not gonna be dangerous. Robbing Crawford. a bunch of crazy people that kill children, sick, and old people? I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. He, someone's gonna die from this. There's no way. That could happen. But we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to. Ugh. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Aw, Clem. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Means they're now psychopaths, probably, sweetheart. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I feel bad telling her for the second time to stay put. Can't I come with you? They kill children, Clementine. Oh, it's giving me a lot of time. Oh, 
Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. I don't know what she's okay. gonna be good for go get ready. with Omid. What if they get attacked by zombies? Omid's just gonna die alone. I have a feeling Omid's gonna die while we're gone. But I can't leave Clementine alone. Clementine alone, because the radio people are creepy, there could be a zombie attack. I would rather bring her ass with me, even if it means going to like the crazy child killers. The whole point of this mission is stealth anyways, we're sneaking, so it's not like we're gonna be like, Oh hey, yoo-hoo, look, we have child! Check Come out what get I found us. in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. <sighs> nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? How many people we can bring? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... <sighs> Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Okay. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? I didn't want to just moving. be like, we don't need your help, biatch. Who are you? You know, like, what if she... And she was. Turns out she was a student. She knows all the entire layout. Well, Whoop-de-do. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking I knew this was going to happen. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh, God. Why are two people telling me it's a bad idea? I am unhappy right now. I'm very unhappy. If I messed up and then something happens to Clementine. <laughs> oh, me, I don't really care about. No offense. Like, he's great and all, but I can cut my ties. But Clem. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. I'm okay, nervous. People, this is it. I'm going to restart Remember this whole chapter plan. if something happens to Clem. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need. And we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Because <sighs> she would have no way to contact me. I have a radio and I don't want the creepy stalkers talking to her. Let's go. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Oh god, right I shouldn't have brought Clem. Crawford been run down? Wait. Oh no. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Oh. Get inside no. fast. Oh no. Oh my god, my heart. Fuck, fuck. Do you think they saw us? 
Your guess is as good as mine. We gotta get in and go. Scared Clementine a little. What the hell happened she wanted here? to come. I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut no, up. This is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. With sentient humans? I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell Amen, out of here? Amen, sister. Fuck off, Ben. I'm sorry. I'm team. I hate Come Ben on. now. I think I know which way to head. I want to read that sign. I got a bad feeling about this. I had a bad feeling when you were stealing our supplies and when you left Clementine behind, Ben. Ben. Mother trucker. Damn, they just shut off their contaminated like that. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were oh. using this room as some kind of command center. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Can't believe Chuck died in the sewers, man. Depresso espresso. Here. I wonder if we could have saved him if we went to go look for him the second we got to the house. Just give me a sec. Oh, the motor pool. Makes sense for batteries and stuff. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? I knew she was from Crawford. I said that earlier. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. I told you guys. I yep, told you. Hormones. You can't miss it. I said okay. she was from here. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. It'll be I'll faster if I go no, with you. Two I'll enough. take you right to you it. You stay here. See if you can use any of those tools we've got uh -huh. to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. We just keep cucking, Ben. You. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. Mm. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Okay. Water pool time. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving <laughs> you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back That's true. You know it. We do hate Ben. Hmm. 
Nothing but crayons and Let me know in the paper. comments. Do you guys like Ben? What are your thoughts on Ben? I really want to know because I don't know. Like it could go either way. I I could see how you like feel for him and the decisions he's made and he's just a child and he's gone through a lot in the last, you know, X amount of time, but also he's such a little piece of shit. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yeah, like children's books. Nothing like refreshing on your alphabet. I bet I'm leaving you with Clem. Don't be stupid. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change. You're plenty useful. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. I don't want him to be s well, that sad. I'll let you get on with it. Like, there's no reason to make the guy, like... No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I don't know. I didn't say anything. I guess you've got your own problems. Look, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get back to this. I mean, I don't want Ben to, like, hurt himself. I feel like he's on the edge of... doing something a little crazy, if you know what I'm saying. Because... he's messed up a lot. And even, even though I think he's a piece of shit, he doesn't deserve to, like, die. So... It's such a complicated matter, man. Like, yes, I think that he should not keep it on his chest and he should tell Kenny for reasons of like, I don't want him to have that weight on his chest forever. But also, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, don't tell him that. How do you think Kenny's gonna live with that? You think that Kenny's gonna want you alive? Mixed feelings, bro. Absolutely mixed feelings. That's why I just kept my mouth shut. Oh, here we go. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children under 14 not admitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. The after looting with the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Ho oh. ho. Do luck is a perfect... C. Oberson. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. God Emperor of Dune. Dulok is a, what a perfect town. Do 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 is. Sorry, Shrek reference. Nothing. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? You just scared the absolute shit out of me, woman. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm coming. Please don't try to murder me. Crazy Crawford lady. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Don't hit me. Guess I'm not going that way. Deliveries made in rear. What the f- I'm going to turn my volume down, I'm afraid.
There's someone out here. I'm very afraid. Turning my volume even more down. Damn. It's jammed tight. Better not get too close. Leave him! He's mine. What were you doing up there? I think you got it. One more! He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor maybe? Did she work with him? Is that a yeah, Rex well, or something? He ain't shit now! <laughs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Like a jack? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. like a tired That'll jack work. thing. Oh no. Oh, come on. No way. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Locked. No way in. No power. Can't reach it up there. I was curious, Chad. I had to know. Do we know what kind of battery we need? Like any? Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Well, she didn't kill him all the way. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Is it unplugged or something? I don't know how these things work, don't judge me. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Hmm. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Some people just want to be safe. Can I use her little pitchfork thing? Hello, ma'am. May I please use your thing? Something you need? Think I can borrow that, hook. uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? Hilda? That's what I call her. <laughs> don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. 
Hmm. And the car is going to go thump. I did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No Can shit. Close the door. Remove that jack. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Come on. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off. Come on. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. She's not gonna just okay, run away with it. Okay, follow me. Uh, I hate that I've developed trust issues with this game. Move your ass. We don't know her story. She's kind of been lying, Wait, man. Chief Spec Crawford, that doctor and her have some history. Skyler. She's been kind of sneaking around. Shoot it out. Is that a confederate flag? What the heck? In the garage? Yeehaw! Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What, in the dying light? Are we supposed to parkour? Oh, hell nah. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. Come on. Dang, she's strong. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Give me the battery. Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. That's fair. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Gotta tie some loose ends, huh? What is this one? Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. You did just in fact say that, but I tried nonetheless. Why, oh, Vernon? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. They've been there the whole time. I don't. I don't know if they've got it taken care of. Hmm. Little help. Little Wait, help here. Oops. We got it. Break the door with something. Oof. Think that'll hold. Get no. Damn well better. The glass, if anything. Can it just crack or something? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. <laughs> Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! I am. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Is Ben alive? Great work, Kenny. Oh, thank God. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Ah, oh, this is a, a, such a weird dynamic Did you get that battery yet? Them. Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Kenny and Ben. Ay ay ay. Bree? Hey Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? 
Couple of years, he ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. It worked well. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Yeah. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> that's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Damn, girl, that's cold. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Aww. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Oh, Vernon doesn't die. Let's check in on Clem, see how she's doing. Oh, she had an energy bar for her. Yeah. This Don't... desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Yeah. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it being in school. I was going to say, you don't sound good. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher. Remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's kind of how people That's felt good. about COVID. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Like I'm recording this in 2022 and back when it broke out in 2020, people were like, where is this going to go? How long is this going to last for? It's only temporary. It's fine. And then it keeps just resurging. So I don't know. It's 2022 now. Who knows when you're watching this? Who knows when I'm rewatching this? I could be watching this again when I'm like, 50 and 60 and 70 and crusty and looking back on the good old days of video games. This is a good way to go. Just weird to think about sometimes. Locked. I didn't need to use a bathroom anyway. Let's see. I don't want to go back here. There was someone here, and I don't remember if it was Molly or not. I'm going back out there unless I have a damn good reason. Okay, good. Me neither. Well, glad we're on the same page, Lee. <laughs> I always have to try though, because you never know where this game will make you do sometimes. Wait, what happened to them in the medicine room? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Is this really a good idea? Oh no, I hope one of them didn't get bit. happened they wandered into the hallway after we got inside i think they must have heard us rooting around in here the whole place is infested they're everywhere calm down <laughs> yeah. took care of them what about the mids did we find what we need yeah that's our other problem take a look locked hmm looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe locked up tight 
Can we just guess the combination? No. It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Either a combination or a key? Maybe? What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. There was that nurse that Molly to take to beat to death. Who could have keys on him, but he's way Just gone in the alley. Papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. Aw. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Looks like some kind of medical file. Looks like some kind of medical. Pick it up with your hands. Is it gonna be her? Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? There's a TV in the kids' room. What's this on the floor? Oh no! Someone was prego. There's dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? Did you just, like, kill a pregnant lady? Uh, already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. They filmed it? They filmed them killing her? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. Oh no, is this about to get this even is worse? 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do What's this. What's the combo? I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Logan's on with the bloody locker. Uh, if you like, you can take some time with In this, the hallway. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. He almost punched it in. Maybe there's another tape? Damn it. In his we locker? almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. We can get Lee, into his locker and open it? Maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. I'm genius. 
I'm genius. Called it. I just didn't think we'd have to go back out there, because uh, the chances of us surviving that are slim. Slim shady. This is the bloody locker. But we don't know the combo. Maybe he'll have it on him also? Do I have to go the exact same way I came? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Climb on the roof, jump over the fence, get his... <laughs> keys and stuff. Shit. That just gave me a slight heart attack. Wait. Oh. Thought she dragged his body for a second. <gasps> Did he terminate her pregnancy? Molly's or something? Or like kill one of her friends or something? Maybe that's what happened. How is he keeping that on this him? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Six two six three zero. The combination was only four numbers. It's the locker, buddy. Let's go. Shit. Let's go. Time to go. Go 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 go. Locker time. All right, did everyone remember the code? Quiz time. Logan, this must have been his locker. Six two six three zero. Thirteen. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I guess we didn't need that. <laughs> found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I wonder what this third one is. Maybe it was like an optional one that not everyone gets. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, you could well, die. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, oh. that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Seven, two, four, one. No. No. Oh, is this how it happened? Did she start the zombie apocalypse? Oh shit. Well, she didn't start like the whole zombie apocalypse. You know, you know what I meant. Like. I think we know what happened to Crawford. Yeah, exactly. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. No. Oh. All right. Let's get those meds I am and get the hell out of here. surprised that she had a little breakdown there. She's always so stoic. We're in business. That's a lie. Not stoic. She gets morphine. angry a lot. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. 
I want to see got it. the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. Well, I'm going to we'll watch head it. head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, I'm going to watch it. We're going to watch it, everybody. Not that I necessarily want to, but I feel like we have to. Can't miss lore. Is it Molly? Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. <laughs> My head is kind of racing right now. Where is the sister? What was her condition? Is it the symptoms of her being pregnant? Is it just because... No, she wasn't pregnant. Just sick. Shoot brain fart. Yeah, she just had to be some sort of sick because they didn't like sick people. So she was keeping her unsick. Maybe she had like a, a serious disease or illness. Ooh, and she was getting screwed, literally, to help provide. Oh my god. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Okay. I don't have any beef with her. I don't even know if I really want to there confront her. Honestly, it's her business. Everyone's been through some shit. I killed someone. I was a murderer before I got here. Right? What's that? Nothing. Picture of her sister. Forget it. We got what we came here for. Let's just go. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh no, it's gonna break the door. Jesus! Shit! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, From the ben? door. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. <laughs> Shit! So thanks, Ben. Couldn't get any more stupid. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh. What's up, Clem? I think Ben couldn't get any more stupid. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Ben's an idiot. Oh, shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Window. Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Yeah, use the hatchet. Come on, damn you! Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm pissed, everybody. This is my fault. All my fault. It's always your fault. About? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? 
It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Hi. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen that to voice me. acting, you holy shit. His skinny little ass. Skinny right little now, ass. We gotta go. Get him, Kenny. Oh. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. <laughs> if this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna yeah, be. I mean, ben the boat's not just... big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I kind of agree. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? She likes Ben, but that's because he colors with her because he's stupid. Of course you do. Not that it's stupid to color, it's but nice. like... nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. Yeah, your friend is an that's idiot, That's my Clem. vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Oh, that's brutal. Holy shit. He just ate her intestines like they were spaghetti. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. God. That's it. Ben is an idiot. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Ben is such an idiot. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out the down meds, here. The meds. The Clem thing. The hatchet. Oh my. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of his car. name forgive me bon. Bon, chungus yeah oh this is badass that's a big boy It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? I feel like Kenny's gonna to the roof. We might be able to find a way push down Ben off this roof, or Ben is gonna jump. The railroad, did you? Yeah. He already feels terrible. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Wait. Well, what are we waiting for? Why go, did he ask the go. railroad question? Wait, what was that? He didn't come from the railroad, did you? Why? Why did he ask that? 
Anyways, like I said, I feel like Ben's on, gonna go. jump or he's gonna get pushed. So he's already having a bad time. Bye, Ben. I'm a nice person. Why? Go, go, go! I'm a nice person. It, do it just took two seconds to save his life. He'll die later. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Did he die while we were gone? Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! <clears throat> oh, thank God. Hey. Just a prank, bro. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Aww. I don't know why okay, I brought Ben kid? back. You look worse than I do. We, we almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. He can't go on the boat anyways. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. I hope his gang is Thanks, okay. Doc. He left them for a while. Yes. Aren't they, like, all Thank super you sick? So much. Oh, this, this game is Maybe so stressful. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what? The railroad? Listen, man. About what happened to Brady. About Clementine? About... Please. Save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? what? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Is he the radio guy? She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? No. Be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. What do you mean, another one of my lies? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. This guy. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Vernon's a nice guy, but passing all this judgment, I've done nothing but care for my people since the second I got here. I have been my genuine self during this playthrough. And him coming in here into my house 
into our house chat is not going to happen. Not going to let that shit fly. That's our Clementine. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. I don't think the boat's a good idea either. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. I don't think the boat's Aren't a good idea, across? but... God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Aww. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. Why did you Vernon too. say all of that to me? What have I done to convince him? I hate when people don't like me and I don't know why. It's one of my biggest moral pet peeves. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. <sighs> you know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Is Vernon Railroad guy? I have so many questions, guys. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Don't leave that radio with her. Oh my god. She's gonna run away. She's gonna run away with the radio to try to go find her parents. Oh my god. <sighs> Next episode is gonna be retrieving Clem from... She's gone. You wake up and she's gone. She's got the radio. <sighs> Clementine. Oh my god. Yep. Clementine. She's gone. If you don't help me find my parents, I know who will. Oh no. Clementine? Clementine! Oh my god, that gave me a heart attack. This freaking game. That literally just gave me a heart attack. Oh. No. 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 
no. No, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. There's Vernon no way. ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. I should've There's checked no the trash bins. Worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Should have checked the freaking trash cans. I knew it in my gut, but I was like, nah. There's no way this is preventable, You've right? always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? There's no way I can die in the main not, character. I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? <sighs> Guys. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. I can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. I think maybe it's best I stayed behind. I know you don't have a lot of confidence in me. That's okay. I understand. But you've got enough to worry about with Clementine without me screwing things up. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay so just bad. leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking <sighs> bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? I feel so bad. Is there a way I could have prevented that? Did they evacuate with all the supplies? Yep. There's nothing on the shelves. Is there gonna be like a teddy bear and something weird in there? Like a... Good luck finding us. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! God, I can't believe I was bit. Oh, this is such a mess. What have I done? <sighs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. 
Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What? No way. I need a preview. 74% of the players killed the boy in the attic. Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 33% of the players threatened or lied to him? Oh. Wow. About, like, the daughter and stuff? I'm in the minority there. Oops. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? 73% of players brought her. That's interesting. I didn't expect people to do that. I thought I was making a stupid choice, but like kind of going with my gut. But I guess other people did the same thing. Um, did you let Ben fall to his death? 66% of players pulled him up. Also kind of shocked there. I thought people would kind of let him die because he's a piece of shit. But same reason, probably like a human instinct of why should I let him die if I can just pull him up in two seconds? Does nothing for me. But now the homeboy is depressed, so I don't know if he's going to live long anyways. Did you reveal your bite? 80% showed the bite. Yeah, I mean, I've been an honest person so far. How am I going to conceal that shit? It's going to get obvious real soon. Within days. I need a preview. Wait, what is this? Who came with you? For like the rest of the mission? 13%, 16 was everybody, 14 was everybody but Kenny, 18 was just me and Kenny. Huh. I have the fourth least or fourth most popular choice. There's no preview? There's no preview? There's no preview for the next episode. Dude, I feel scammed. I feel absolutely scammed. What the heck? Okay, so, uh... <sighs> that was very different from the last episode. Like, I finished last episode with my heart on my sleeve so many people died i was emotionally distraught this one my blood is like pumping my adrenaline is up my blood is up i don't think i'm really emotionally distraught anymore my heart's a little busted it was sad to see the lady die that was sad but i mean at this point so many people have died yeah that that stung a bit and then the parts with molly and um the doctors and like the whole Crawford thing was interesting, obviously. And my emotions did get riled up. But I think that the, the thing that stuck out the most about this episode was definitely the ending, getting bit and then Clementine getting kidnapped. That That's what got my blood pumping. It wasn't really all of the emotional sappy stuff this episode. It was just like keeping you on your toes. And they added some jump scares in there. That wasn't very, that wasn't very nice of them. <laughs> During a zombie apocalypse, jump scares, I never. Like in the shed. And then that last one. Oh my god, this is the last. I just can't get over the last like 10 minutes. Anyways, um, I am now at the edge of my seat and I cannot wait for the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and you'll be right here with me when we play it. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. See ya!